Jennifer stood in front of the mirror, her determined gaze meeting the reflection of her long, flowing chestnut hair. It was the eve of a new year, and she had set ambitious goals for herself. To secure two promotions and rid herself of the tyrannical presence of her boss, Maud. With a mix of determination and desperation, she sought guidance from her trusted colleague, Wendy. Over a cup of steaming coffee, Wendy contemplated Jennifer's predicament. A sly smile played on her lips as an idea took shape. You know, Wendy began, her voice laced with mischief. Men are always intrigued when a woman changes her appearance. Why not play with John's curiosity by teasing him about cutting your hair short? It might just be the spark you need to get his attention. Intrigued by the unorthodox strategy, Jennifer pondered the possibilities. The power dynamics in the corporate world were complicated, and she had grown tired of being overlooked and undervalued. With a spark of defiance in her eyes, she decided to take Wendy's advice, hoping it would be the catalyst for change that she so desperately needed. Days turned into weeks as Jennifer embarked on her mission. She dropped subtle hints, engaging John in playful banter about the possibilities of a daring haircut. With each encounter, she carefully stoked his curiosity, planting the seed that would hopefully lead to her desired outcome. Finally, after a series of failed attempts, John approached Jennifer one morning. His eyes gleamed with a newfound interest as he extended an unexpected invitation. Jennifer, he said with a hint of excitement, I've decided to take you to my favorite barbershop. It's time for that haircut you've been teasing me about. Let's make it happen. Jennifer's heart skipped a beat as she realized that her plan was working. She followed John, her anticipation growing with each step until they arrived at Jack's Barbershop, a cozy establishment tucked away in a quiet corner of town. As they stepped through the door, the scent of hair products and the low hum of clippers greeted them. The walls were adorned with vintage posters showcasing a variety of hairstyles from different eras, a testament to the craft of barbering. The soft leather of the waiting chairs beckoned them to take a seat, adding to the atmosphere of nostalgia that permeated the shop. Jack, the seasoned barber with a white coat and a friendly smile, approached Jennifer with a twinkle in his eye. Welcome, Jennifer. What can I do for you today? He inquired, gesturing towards the antique mirror that adorned his station. Jennifer took a deep breath, stealing herself for the transformation that was about to take place. She looked Jack in the eye and, with a mixture of determination and apprehension, said, Get this shit off, pointing to her long locks, eager to shed the old and embrace the new. However, as the words left her lips, a chill ran down Jennifer's spine. Jack, misinterpreting her words as a resolute affirmation, took them literally. Without further clarification, he picked up the buzzing electric clippers, their sharp teeth poised for action. As the cold steel made contact with her hair, Jennifer's heart sank. She watched, a mix of shock and disbelief flooding her senses as her precious strands fell to the floor in a cascade of chestnut waves. Each pass of the clippers marked a new chapter in her story, a chapter she had not intended to open. When Jack finally paused, Jennifer stared at her reflection in the mirror, her once abundant hair replaced by a mere one two inch crop atop her head. The image before her was unrecognizable, a stark contrast to the vision she had held in her mind. A lump formed in her throat, and she struggled to find the right words to express her dismay. As if sensing her distress, Jack, still unaware of his misinterpretation, gently inquired, Would you like the back of your hair to be left in a straight line at the neck, or do you prefer a natural look? Jennifer's mind was a whirlwind of emotions. 
She had been robbed of her voice, her choice, and the power to dictate her own destiny. Unable to find the words, she simply shook her head, her silence speaking volumes. Observing the turmoil that Jennifer was experiencing, John stepped forward. His concern evident in his eyes, he collected a fistful of the shorn locks that lay scattered on the floor. Brushing them through his fingers, he attempted to fashion a makeshift ponytail, a small gesture to salvage some semblance of normalcy. Yet, as Jennifer watched him, her heart sank further. The gesture, though well-intentioned, only served to magnify her loss. The strands of hair between John's fingers were a reminder of what once was, a poignant symbol of her vulnerability and the magnitude of the situation. The reality of her transformed appearance hit her with full force as she left the barber shop. Embarrassment and sadness engulfed her, creating a heavy burden that settled upon her shoulders. Her once luscious mane, a source of pride and femininity, had been reduced to a mere memory, replaced by an unfamiliar and unwelcome reality. Jennifer's journey, though filled with unexpected twists and shattered expectations, became a crucible for growth and self-discovery. The peer pressure and fear of failure associated with New Year's resolutions had taken their toll, leaving her traumatized and questioning her choices. The power dynamics between bosses and employees, an undercurrent that flowed beneath the surface of corporate environments, had been laid bare before her eyes. As she navigated the challenges that lay ahead, Jennifer resolved to redefine success on her own terms. She would no longer be confined by societal expectations or the desire for validation from others. The loss of her hair became a catalyst for her metamorphosis, a symbol of her strength and resilience in the face of adversity. In the end, Jennifer would emerge from the shadows, her spirit unbroken, and her determination renewed. The journey to achieving her goals would be fraught with obstacles, but she would face them head-on, armed with the knowledge that true power comes from within. And as she took her first steps forward, her shorn hair would serve as a reminder of the courage it took to embrace change, no matter how unexpected or painful it may be.